Today, I wanna to talk to you about why a top creative team is like a top surgical team and how you can use the techniques of surgeons to improve the creative work that you do. Hi, it's James Saylor here, keynote speaker on creativity, innovation, and artificial intelligence, and the founder of Super Creativity U. I was recently interviewing Professor Roger Nebo. He has been a top surgeon, and he's now an academic in London. And we were talking about the role of improvisation in work of top performers. And when we talk about top performers, I mean top sales performers, top performers in the arts, top performers in medicine as well. And we were talking about that across all of these, you will see amongst a really high functioning team is a level of improvisation with each other. So the individuals in that team are able to improvise. They've developed their skills to such a level where they don't, they're not just doing things by templates, but they're able to improvise in the moment in real time. And he was talking to me about something, a similarity you'll sometimes see between a jazz group, a jazz band, and a top surgical team. You see, with, it, with a, a top jazz group, if you've ever watched them on stage or watched a video, you'll see that they're improvising, they're in the moment. They have a form, they have a structure, but they're reacting to what everyone else is doing in real time. As one musician goes down one place, the other person reacts and they come in around them and they come in behind them and they, they have this flow that goes on in the creative work they do. Likewise, Professor Niebuhr was saying a top surgical team is very much like that as well. So the, the surgeon, the anesthetist, the, the swab nurse, they're all working in this kind of improvisational way. So as that surgeon is cutting and he finds that there's a particular problem with this thing and there's excessive bleeding in this thing, the team is automatically responding and working, working around and supporting each other in their joint endeavor together. And he says it's beautiful to watch. It's almost like there's one thing that's kind of moving in sync with each other. Now, to get to this higher level of collaboration, it's a type of creative collaboration we're looking at here. It requires a willingness and a real keenness and ability to watch and to listen and to respond in the moment. You know, in the case of surgeons, they're watching, they're listening to the beeps, listening to the machines that are kind of going on, they're watching the patient, they're watching each other, the hands, the movements that are kind of going on, they're feeling that sense in the room, and they're responding in real time. Like with a musician in a jazz group, where one player plays something, and they're, they're responding, whether that's in terms of call and response, or whether they can almost instinctively feel that movement that they're going on together. They're going on the journey uh, together as well. So have a think about it in the case of your own creative team. Have you developed that ability as a team to have that type of flow in the work you do? Now, by doing this, it doesn't mean that we have to have all members of the team all exactly alike. In fact, some of the greatest jazz music involves personalities who are widely different from each other completely different life experiences, different backgrounds, but they come together in an improvisational context in this one. Likewise, in top surgical teams, you might have someone that's very skilled as a surgeon, you might have someone that's very skilled as a anesthetist, someone very skilled as a nurse, but they come together and they work as a unit, as a high performing and functional unit. So ask yourself, in the team that you work with just now, can you all improvise as a team? Do you have that skills? Do you have that abilities? If not, there's a couple of things I would suggest you do here. First of all, think about the actual composition of the team as well. Do, do you have enough diversity in the team with um, complementary skills, skills that, that can match and that can work together? Not the same skills, but they have, they have a complementary nature to what they're doing. Secondly, sometimes you just need to do other things outside of the operating room outside of the, the bandstand in order to build that trust that you have to have. We, it's sometimes called psychological safety. Dr. Amy Edmondson from Harvard University. You have to build this level of trust, of empathy, of simpatico with your team, enough to the level that you can collaborate and improvise together in the moment at the right time. Let me know what your thoughts are on this idea of improvisation 
being able to improvise as a team. Maybe tell me a story that you had, a team in your case, where you were able to kind of get to this higher level of collaboration. Leave it in the comments below.